Hello, hello guys. We are back para sa ating second series game number one. Tignan natin kung uh, dominating performance na naman ba may kita natin dito. One-sided game or this time even lang yung magiging matchup natin. We'll be getting uh, LGD up against Piggy Killer. So let's see and find out kung uh, gaano ka okay na ang LGD ngayon. So, third pick ang inaantay natin dito. So, Methusa and then grabbing Elder Titan. This is good. A good answer up against third bleed ng uh, Pig Killer. And then Mirana afterwards. So, possible setup. Echo Stomp into the arrow. Ganun yung mangyayari ngayon. Okay, interesting. For both teams. But LGD, I think, uh, medyo okay yung draft nila dito. So at least, hindi sila masyadong uh, problemado dun sa high base armor na meron yung uh, Terror Blade. As long as they have the uh, natural order, yung aura. Madali lang naman patayin yung Terror Blade. Surprising to see, Keeper is still open. And hindi kinuwa yun ng uh, LGD. They have Bedusa on their side. Pero this is na Keeper of the Light. So uh, for the mid lane hero, baka possible mga Spirit Brothers lang yun. Panot naman na yung Pangolier, or maybe Queen of Pain, Wind Ranger. Ilan naman yung mga hero na nagkita natin for the mid lane. Yeah, Queen of Pain will be picked for the side of Piggy Killer. <laughs> Not knowing kung sino ba yung mga katabat niya dito But they decided to grab the Queen of Pain for the side of Piggy Killer Baka maubusan pa ng mid-hero ata Ayun yung iniisip nila Ten seconds. Five seconds remain. It is Na time for them to decide Turn kung ano pa yung mga next possible heroes na pwedeng makakuha dito so, removing Ember Spirit, Underlord naman para sa side ng LGD. Then, uh, marami pa ng mga available. So, last ban on both teams ang inaantay natin ngayon. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Last ban, still waiting. Para sa side ng LGD, offlane hero ata yung missing for Piggy Killer. Pwede rin naman sila mag Spirit Breaker offlane. Like uh, Team Master kanina, ganun yung ginawa nila. So Visage will be the next ban. And on to the last ban ng Piggy Killer. Mid hero yung missing. Seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Dyer's turn to pick. Last pick for LGD. Ang inaantay natin. Five seconds choose. Admiral Tonka. And then uh, there goes Kunka. Ten 
10 seconds. 5 seconds remain. And then Snapfire will be grabbed by Piggy Killer. Interesting. Snapfire offlane ba ito? Di ko alam. Di ko kabisado yung mga players ng uh, Piggy Killer. But uh, draft-wise, I think I'm gonna go for LGD. Much easier way to execute. They have their answer on those uh, important heroes such as Turblade. And I'm not sure how good the Queen of Pain is. Para sa game na to. He's dealing with multiple stun control. So, delicado yung Queen of Pain dito if ever my out position. So, tamang antay lang tayo mag-start ulit yung game. Ganda ng Terror Blade, oh. Purple yung ano, kulay. Well, um, yung mana shield niya, kasi pinag pinalakas lalo yung mana shield ni Medusa. Kaya naging zero base strength na lang si uh, Medusa. Kaya sobrang baba ng HP niya. Kasi yung mana shield niya, 98% na yung damage absorb. And hindi rin ganun kadaling ubusin yung uh, mana ni Medusa in terms of damage. Kasi nga, pag max out, ano, 3.6 damage per mana. So, ibig sabihin yung 3.6 na damage, 1 lang sa mana yun. <laughs> Just 30 seconds now. Malakas din siya sa lane stage kasi nga, uh, level 1, dalawa agad yung skill ni Medusa. Meron agad siya mana shield. Yun lang yung pinaka-problem niya is uh, madali siya ma-counter ng mga heroes na merong uh, burn ng mana. Lalo na sa pinaganda naman ngayon yung uh, Diffusal Blade. Meron na siyang upgrade. So, kailangan mo rin mag-ingat. Like, hindi siya yung totally uh, unstoppable. Nagka-fall off pa rin siya kahit pa paano. Lalo na pagdating sa mga late game stages. Kapag may mga items na may mga Core heroes. Mabilis lang talaga mag-farm si Medusa. Yun yung kinagandaan ng hero na to. Kaya niya ma-outfarm yung opponent niya sa mga early to mid game. And doon yung magiging advantage sila para lang ma-close out agad yung game. So parang kung titignan natin, like for example, diba, Medusa, kapag max out yung kanyang mana shield, 3.6. So yung mana niya, times 3.6 mo, yun. Then parang ayun yung kailangan yung ubusin. Per damage.
Pero once na maubos mo naman na yung mana ni Medusa, diba? Wala naman siyang ganong HP ngayon dahil zero base yung strength niya. Ito yung 6, galing lang yan sa mga stats. So talagang, uh, mga Diffusal Blade lang para mas madaling maubos yung mana ni Medusa. Vendetta ni Mix. Ni Nyx Assassin. Ayan, 50%. Max mana, 50% yung uh, ibabawas sa'yo. Sa so, doon, pinaka-countered yung Medusa. But for this game, uh, di ko sure kung mag-Divisal Blade ba yung uh, Third Blade para lang sa Medusa. Yung iba ginagawa, Wind Ranger, di ba, na naka-Divisal kasi okay na naman mag-Divisal ng Wind Ranger. Universal Hero na si Wind Ranger and Focus Fire habang may Divisal Blade, tubos agad talaga mana ba yun. So, yun yung mga ginagawa nilang answer. But now, Echo Stump connecting all the two heroes para kay Y. Yeah, Makapag-disengage uh, naman siya dito. Chill casting na tayo guys for our last series. Last series na ng China region natin ngayon. Ha? Two series na kasi sila for today. Then next natin is Eastern Europe. Si Ate Sherry bahala dyan. Sa mga nagante kay Ate Sherry yan. Possible maagaga siya makapag-cover ngayon dahil Eastern Europe. Hindi ko lang sure kung meron siyang lakad na kaya hindi niya makakov baka hindi niya makover yung first series ah, magkasabi naman yan si Ate Sherry sa akin kapag ano sa akin hindi niya makakover so kung free ako pwede kong i-cover yung series niya Spirit Baker will be taken out by LGD oh lasing ayun na delikado na pag ganyan lasing na naman Ano yung inom? Sure ako na mimis ko ng uminom. A possible this weekend, right? Since uh, birthday naman ng tropa. Top lane shield dito is almost out of mana. Nagamit na rin niya yung kanyang magic wand, so he needs to be careful. He's only sitting on 200 HP. Mystic Snake, look at that. Back to full, almost full, yung mana dito ng Medusa. Oh, don't worry, boss. Kapag gamin naman ako, nagkakas pa rin naman tayo. <laughs> Kasi pang, amin naman yan, tawag dito, uh, pang umaga naman yung schedule ko. So, hindi naman ako inom ng umaga. <laughs> Siyempre, pagtapos na itong series ko, tsaka ako inom. Diba? Doon kinabukasan, kaya ko naman yun. Hindi naman ako yung, ano, yung tipang walawalan kung inom. Tapos na ako dyan, ayoko naman ng ganyan. Ayun yung mga way back na kami pa naisi yung magkasama ng sa boot ka. <laughs> Talagang patayan kami kung uminom ni Easy. Pero ngayon, nga, tamang relax na lang tayo. Hindi tayo nagpapalas na so. Kaya, makakover at makakover natin yung mga series na nakaschedule sa akin. Sa akin, ha? Hindi ko pwedeng makakover yung kay Ate Sherry dahil late na yung kanya, eh. This will come in handy. Well, 5-1 yung score. Habang nagkakwento ako, di ko alam. 5-1 na pala yung score natin <laughs> 1k lead for LGD. Ano nangyari? Bakit 5-1 yung score? Sino yung nag-dominate dito? Oh, yung Beastmaster sa may bot lane. Ah, uh, namatay na ba yung Turret Blade? Oo oh, nga, namatay na yung Turret Blade. Pero nakakuha naman ng kill yung Turret Blade kahit pa paano. Yeah, over to the top lane. I mean the lane, pala, sorry. X mark, Echo Stomp. Yeah, but I touched the Mandito on the XM. Nothing to say, didn't the return. Interesting. Not sure why. Pero, dahil jan, wala na mga yare sa middle lane na uh, rotation natin. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Power ruin, 6 minute mark. And uh, top rune yung uh, magi spawn that's gonna be XM to grab. Arcane rune secured para sa ating Queen of Pain. 
That might be good. That's not going to be the team fight here. But that's going to be Mercy. 3 for 3 heroes here for the side of LGD. Nowhere to run for the Crystal Maiden. 2k advantage again for the LGD. At 6 minute mark. So, they're going to be the same here. Okay na start. Eh, possible mag continuous to kapag uh, wala pa ring naigawang sagot yung pig killer sa ginagawa nilang aggression and baka maagaga matapos yung game natin we're talking about beastmaster medusa once na available na yung manta style and then butterfly usually ganyan yung magiging approach ng med ng medusa dito para lang uh, madaling tapusin yung game diba evasion up against tower yun naman yung importante doon pero as for new yeah he'll be uh Taken out by the Turbo Bleed. Rotation of Queen of Pain, successful naman. They're going over to the Beast, uh, to the uh, Elder Titan, pero for why, medyo malayo naman na. And wala naman silang uh, follow-up control for the side of Piggy Killer. Beastmaster lang yung magiging casualty for the side of LGD. But it's okay. At least nakakuha sila ng kill, and that's a core hero dead. Still, sitting on top network yung, uh, top last hits yung uh, mga core heroes ng LGD up until now. So they need more. Or a piggy killer. Yung mga ganong uh, klase ng uh, pick-offs. Check natin yung network. Kahit 7 minutes pa lang. Yep. Terror Blade. Kahit pa paano sumasabay pa rin naman. Hindi naman siya yung ganun pa na nag-suffer sa lane. So, keeping up with the network. Pero not up against Medusa. Na talagang sobrang free farm. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Eight minutes in. So with the smoke play coming off for the side of Picky Killer, running towards bottom lane, unfortunately, na break din natin to say yung kanilang smoke. So they don't have any idea kung uh, sino yung nakabreak ng smoke nila. Yeah, ito, uh, MU scouts them out. Habang kinukuha niya yung mga neutral stacks dito for him to grab and uh, back on lanes lang ulit tayo dito. Failed attempt for Piggy Killer. To try and do something about this. It's the key lead for LGD. Continues by the man sa pagka farm yung Medusa. But slowly, yan uh, pag uh, recover naman na terribly dito. And with the smoke player coming out for the side of LGD, tiga natin kung sila naman yung uh, merong uh, abuta naman dito. Or same din na nangyaring smoke for Piggy Killer. Dahil top plane and dito yung terribly. Might be looking to take out this uh, objective. Mukhang walang aabutan sa smoke yung LGD. Might be transitioning it with the uh, objective first. Actually, nabasag na pala ng Beastmaster. So, back to middle lane na lang. And speaking of middle lane, they do found XM. Go ship, not on point to actually connect. nakapag blink out pa rin naman yung Queen of Pain. That inantay niya na lang sa araw ko, Manik. Eh. Sayang yun, ha? Dyer should look to the top tower. Yeah, miss timing para kay nating to say. 10 minutes sa game natin dito and top lane ready to push naman na yung Turblade Queen of Pain will be joining I don't know about LGD if they're going to contest this Yeah, Echo Stomp just trying to delay this push pero mababasag pa rin naman ng uh, Piggy Killer Bottom lane for the Snapfire might be looking towards to get his ultimate Solo XP muna para sa Snapfire Mortimer Kisses sobrang gandang uh, skill in terms of damage, AoE, and now Spirit Breaker, the X mark will be there, catching him. Arrow for the follow up, Torrent will be there. Do they have enough damage for the Spirit Breaker? Nether Strike coming in, pops the magic one. Spirit Breaker is still alive, but the X stump will finally take him out, and now the Crystal Maiden will be uh, caught as well. 
So that's two down for the side of Piggy Killer. Crystal Maiden level 4, 11 minutes. Kuhawa ka dito, tas hero ng LGD. Kun ka, Beastmaster, Elder Titan. Kapag nahuli yung Crystal Maiden, wala nang gagawin to. So it's not looking good for Piggy Killer. They need some, maybe decent pick-off. Parang pagdating sa teamfight, medyo mahirap pa. Siguro maganda hang bitawan lang ng ultimate Sonic Wave, yung Mortimer Kisses yan. Possible yan, may panalin teamfight for the side of uh, Piggy Killer. Wala naman nag-pipe for uh, LGD. Yep, Beastmaster dito. First time to see sa China region na mag helm of Overlord yung Beastmaster. Usually, puro sila Crimson Guard or any sustain items. Yun lang, ginagawa na sa Beastmaster. Pero this time, Helm of Overlord. Yung magiging sagot niya. Oh, bounty! <laughs> Twelve minutes in. Six K advantage, pa rin naman para sa side ng LGD. And there goes the smoke play on LGD squad. Mark, go ship, arrow comes in, snap for Dito, Torrent connecting on the two, na damay pa yung Spirit Baker, and now the Echo Stomp, and the Dominion Sleep needed, and Eric leap out, but on the Nether Strike coming up from Eva. But still trying to take this fight, disengage lang muna for the Spirit Baker, Eva Dito trying to escape, but on the lane slow, the damage will be there as well. Two heroes down for the side of Piggy Clear right now, and then here goes Shiro, Medusa. Will be joining in. Diba? I think on its way, Manta style para kay Shiro. And now the X Mark do found the pistol made an arrow for the follow up control. Wala magagawa dyan si Mercy. Have mercy, please. He's only level 5. And they're going for the push. Manta style available na para kay Shiro. Almost 14 minutes in. And, kumukulog na naman. <laughs> kagabi. Nang nakatakot ng kulog kagabi. Tere-tere-tere lang ganun. Dyer should look to their middle tower. Top tower is under attack. So, fifteen minutes in, and it's nine kill lead for LGD. Mukhang uh, maulang gabi na naman tayo dito mga boss. Ayan. Fifteen minutes in and it's 10k lead already para sa side ng LGD. Mukhang mabilis-bilis na itong series ito. Oh, there goes the Frostbite with the Snapfire cookie follow up from Amalai Titan Elder Titan Primal Lord use over to the Snapfire itself for the arrow to connect in. 
They have the damage. Snap right there. First Vito X Magoshi from Nothing to Save will be able to take down the pistol mid and final wave. Gonna pull back Ava. Ava Dito charge over to the Beastmaster. And now with the metamorphosis from Flyfly, but a major Matas in damage reduction thanks to the Caucus Drum. And now they might be looking for Flyfly instead. The Medusa will be joining this fight. Stone Geese you, Son of Faith, gonna push back two heroes. And now with the title wave control, Flyfly Dito still alive. But now finally he'll fall. Three heroes dead in the for the side of Piggy Killer. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Eleven K lead on LGD. Now Medusa back on farming and at the Sabiko. Second item will be butterfly and it's almost up. This will be their attack. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So 17 minutes in, 14-3, yung ating score. 11k advantage pa rin naman para sa side ng LGD. Now, we might be waiting for the erosion attempt ng LGD dito. Possible baka pag uh, meron ng butterfly yung Medusa yan. Since magiging opportunity na yan to uh, secure high ground, evasion, tas meron pang Aegis. Malaking bagay yan. You have Beastmaster with you. Well, Helm of, Over uh, Helm of Overlord up. Ando na yung mga aura given. So, may hirapan pa dito yung uh, Piggy Killer to actually uh, take this fight. For the third blade is going for the Fusil Blade. So, as expected. Roshan. This is doable, even without Medu. Go on, put it in the para claim na lang yung Aegis mismo. Radiant should look to their top tower. And as for third blade, that I'm gonna find the Asian stacks. The site and LGD. Siganatin after getting the Fusil Blade kung ay tina pa yung item na inaantay ng Piggy Killer para lang makalaban up against sa LGD. I mean, it's not just the Medusa, yung magiging problem nila dito. Mayaman din naman kasi yung uh, Kunka. Mayaman din yung Beastmaster. So, kailangan nila mag-iingat pa rin sa mga possible teamfights. Now, Moonlight Shadow, together with Smoke. Going for the wrap around play, but wala silang abutan. And apesta naman naman ayos dun yung Queen of Pain. And as for Shiro, will be continuing to get more objective for his team. Tier 2 middle lane tower yung magiging objective dito. And now they're ready to push. Continuous Shadow Strike over to Shiro, but Shiro just won't stop. So they continuing to take this objective down. Third tower to fall, and they're going for the set of flag charge coming in for the Spirit Faker with the Fortune Pickets for the follow up. Why will be taken out? Didn't have enough sustain. Well, that's fight or any Greaves instead of LGD, but they're doing so much damage because of this. Queen have been taken out. Same goes with Spirit Baker. Tidal Wave will be there. Well, I'm not para kay nothing to say. Five up for the Spirit Baker. Now, set the flag in the middle lane will be protected by the fortification out of mana and to Shiro, so he needs to be careful. Now, for nothing to say, he was taken out by the Spirit Breaker. Now, going to run for the Mirana, not gonna make it. He goes on as well. Double kill para kay Eva. 
It might be looking to escape from it. Shiro Dito doesn't have any slows needed. I mean, slows available. Charge will be there again. And there goes the control over to Shiro. Shiro taken out. Down for 5 seconds. Just have the Aegis with the Freezing Field on to whom? Yule Scepter will be able to stop this. And now they manage to bring down the Beastmaster. Frostbite. Shiro getting controlled. Pops the Manta style. Going for Fly Fly. Losing almost everybody for the side of Pika Killer aside from the Queen of Pain and Third Bleed. And actually, namatay ata yung Queen of Pain. Sorry. Yeah. Third Blade lang yung hindi namatay sa teamfight na yun. Although at least... Natanggal nila yung Aegis ng Medusa. Yan, nakita naman natin yung effectivity ng Defusal Blade. Medyo napapapilis yung uh, pag-burnout ng mana sa Medu. But Medu dito... Uh, on its way para sa kanyang next key item, which is gonna be I of Skadi for the slows needed against this range heroes. Eh, lang parang nakulangan ako sa side ng LGD. Wala nag-itemize ng mga uh, pipe, so sasalain talaga nila yung full damage ng Mortimer Kisses. Tulad kanina, sobrang bilis na wala nung uh, Elder Titan. And without Elder Titan, medyo mahirap patayin yung Toro Blade. Kasi nasa kanya yung ano, eh, natural order na yung na natin dito. And they're going for the next high ground. Wala tayong metamorphosis for Terror Blade. So this is doable. Hindi ko sure kung paano i defend Ang piggy killer to. That's a Frax again. Possible na naman makakuha. There goes the Earth Splitter connecting all the two, but the Thunder will be there. Shiro, down to half HP. but medyo healthy pa naman siya in terms of mana pool. Spirit Breaker dito was taken out. Die back for the Spirit Breaker. And there goes another set of Frax. Makukuha dito ng Piggy Killer down to Mortimer Kisses. It's gonna try and do its best para lang mapuwasan si Shiro, but it's not gonna be enough. Hex and Dito dropping low. Yule Scepter setting up for the arrow to connect in. Will be blocked by Fleece? No. They lost four right now. Ultra kill secured. And now for the third base, time for him to die. And that's it. GG has been sold. LGD, a dominating performance for them. So, we're going to post-game analysis, guys. We'll be right back again tayo para sa next game. After the short break, thanks so much for watching.